uh, Rory Watt, City Manager for the City and Borough of Juneau. revenues at this stage of the season aligned with 2018 fiscal predictions as of yet? Uh, it's too early to tell. So the, the ships have just been coming for about three weeks. Um, the numbers certainly look good for the summer. Uh, there's lots of tourists all over town. Uh, they look like they're shopping. It looks like the, the uh, tour operators have people on board. Uh, uh, reason for optimism, but uh, we don't have any, any uh, returns yet. Yeah, she doesn't live in June, maybe she's... It's, and, well, and I'll just say this on the record. So the way it works for um, the knowledge that we get, we get quarterly sales tax returns from the merchants, um, and, the, you know, they get an extra month after the end of the quarter. So we won't know what our second quarter is like until the end of July or early August, and that's going to be uh, part tourism, part not. So, so really, uh, in terms of economic activity, we've got a lot of anecdotal evidence, um, but the hard evidence uh, for spending is our sales tax returns, uh, and, and we don't get the complete picture probably until actually November, middle of November. Uh, we were before the assembly last night, and I was recommending that we contract with uh, Waste Management Incorporated, who operate our landfill, uh, to provide uh, recycling services and a location for our hazardous waste program, which would allow our, our citizens to do all of their waste um, needs at one location. Uh, the assembly was supportive. Uh, we'll be introducing authorizing legislation in June. Uh, I think we're excited that we're going to be able to better serve our customers and do it more efficiently if we're able to work out the final details. Awesome. So you said there's going to be recycling yep. service? Yep. So, so uh, what we do now is we have a recycling center so people can drop off the recycling out there. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, Waste Connections offers curbside recycling pickup, so people also do that, but it all, all the recycled goods end up in the same location, get bailed up, and get shipped out of town uh, to market. Interesting. Um, so, if advanced, what's the project's timeline? Uh, if, uh, if, well, let's try it again. Um, if the assembly uh, authorizes the legislation in June, uh, waste management would build a new building for the recycling faci facility, and that would be open uh, this fall. Uh, and we would be building uh, nearby a new building for the hazardous waste program. Uh, that probably would take a little bit slower, uh, hoping maybe uh, another year we would have that open. Awesome. Is that going to be near the... So, so it would be at Lemon Creek at the landfill. Oh, okay. Awesome. <clears throat> you have recently suggested plans for a new city hall, perhaps in the near future. Can you please elaborate? Uh, so right now, this, the city for many years uh, leases a uh, tremendous amount of office space downtown, and we pay about $750,000 a year in rent. Um, and, and we've been doing it for many years, and I made the pitch to the assembly that uh, just purely on a business case, uh, it would make sense for us to build our own facility. We're looking at, uh, on top of our parking garage downtown, uh, and we're looking at a facility that would be purpose-built uh, for offices. Uh, with obviously on top of the parking garage, that would be a good location for everybody that needs to do business with the city. Um, we would be much more efficient in terms of the space uh, footprint that we would need. Uh, right now, many of our offices are in old, funky buildings, former apartments. Um, by vacating those areas, that would free up uh, space for apartments downtown. Uh, and we think on a, on a revenue basis, the, the rents really probably could offset the construction of that facility and we would be able to better and more efficiently serve the public. Wow. Which parking garage is this one? The Downtown uh, Transportation Center parking garage. Awesome. Right on Main Street. Cool. So you're planning to build on top of that. Yeah. So, so when we when we built the parking garage, we oversized the structural elements uh, so that we could go up more. Uh, so we always knew that we might add on to that facility. 
And last year I pitched the uh, idea to the assembly of uh, making uh, analysis of the business case of a new city hall one of their priorities and they agreed. Uh, and the other night at a finance committee meeting they agreed to provide partial funding for that study uh, in our annual budget. Okay. <clears throat> the Mayor Bill Overstreet Park's whale statue is now patented. Really? How may this assist in its maintenance fees? Um, the, so the, the sculpture it has been patented. So the, the committee that raised the private capital to purchase the sculpture, uh, and they wrote us several large checks for the installation, I think um, not only did they provide the sculpture, but uh, well over a half million dollars in donation for the installation. Uh, they provided a patent, uh, and the idea is is that uh, merchants who, who sell items to tourists can uh, get shirts, keychains, uh, stuffed whales, whatever, uh, made in the likeness of the sculpture and pay a royalty fee. Uh, and we have a company that's been hired to uh, license out the, the rights. Uh, we would collect royalty fees and then we would use that for maintenance of the sculpture. Uh, so if, uh, get yourself a whale keychain. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And, and the, whale, the whale sculpture has been enormously popular. Uh, so I, anybody visiting Juneau would welcome them to come visit down there. Uh, locals and our cruise ship passengers uh, are really enjoying it. I hate to admit, I've never even gone oh, in. Oh, oh, it's really cool. Is that one clear down there? That yeah, right over by the bridge. By the bridge, yeah. Okay, well, I, now I have to go look at it. And she'll probably want me to video it. Oh, to yeah. Match this. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. And the one, well, you know, when the fa the fountain works go off, and it's got a big dipper barnacle pattern on the jaw, and the many things to enjoy. Really, yeah. a barnacle pattern of the big dipper. Uh huh. Jaw? Yeah. Oh, that is really cool. Okay. Um, well, I'll go get some B-roll to go along with this maybe then. <laughs> okay. So when it's sunny, she'll yeah. Have to wait on this that part of the interview. <laughs> so finally, using this Fox ABC CW platform, what, what message would you like to offer this evening to your Juno constituents and fellow Alaskans? Uh, even though it's only 49 degrees today, uh, welcome to summer. And, uh, you know, we're excited about uh, the long days and the tour season and our opportunity to get out in the water and uh, enjoy um, the great outdoors. Awesome. Sorry, anything else you want to say? Um, I don't think so. I'm, uh, you know, congratulations on the legislature making it through another session. Um, and, you know, a lot of hard work went into that. And, and uh, that's probably, a, probably all I have to offer. <laughs>